Hello. Hello there. So I had a lovely weekend uh, hanging out up in New York on the boom boat. Got to chill out with one of my favorite East Coast spinners, Insignia, aka Christian, who uh, has been keeping on, me on my toes a lot the uh, past few months as we've been working through uh, elliptical caps and all of their lovely variations. Um, but he brought something to my attention that I hadn't seen before, which was, um, so I played around a couple podcasts ago with this idea of plane bending caps. And in that video, I was just switching between really wall plane and wheel plane here, right? But what Christian pointed out to me is that there's also the opportunity to do caps in horizontal plane here, right? Which, of course, you can then transition them back. you got a lovely assembly pattern that you can do around all four compass points of uh, wheel plane, wall plane, horizontal plane, and back. And, of course, that also represents a great opportunity once you're switching into horizontal plane You'll note that uh, we now have this fascinating junction point directly in front of us that we can also use to switch into our old friend the diagonal plane. And then back to vertical. Diagonal one. Diagonal two. Horizontal. And we have plan once again. So, um, playing around with that, I think there's all kinds of fun combinations that we need to be had in there. Uh, next up, so this is more a theory thing than anything else, but um, so as we're playing around caps, of course we have four basic time and direction combinations. We have same direction, same time. We have split time, same direction. We have same time opposites. And we have split time opposites, right? So based on each of these combinations works in a complete circle, logically you'd think that each cat pattern then would have natural transition points to two of these combinations of time and direction. No, not the case. Each one's got three. What do I mean? Let me show you. So for the most part, when people are doing caps, you're doing either hands split apart like this. And by the way, it doesn't actually matter if you know you're doing poi going same direction or opposite direction for this. Just the important thing is, is that it's either your hands are separated at top and bottom, or they stay together the entire time, right? In which case, if they stay together the entire time. At the top and bottom, we have natural junction points into going to same direction, same time, which becomes a polyrhythm flower, or polyrhythm hybrid, I suppose it's both. Or we have a moment where we can go to uh, opposite same time. Um, that's pretty much it for top and bottom. But when you go to the middle, all of a sudden, middle gives you the opportunity to switch into, oops, opposite split time or continue with same direction split time or same direction same time excuse me when you do it with arms posed you wind up in a position where at top and bottom you can switch into opposite uh, split time and you can also switch into yes. 
you can also switch into split time same direction. Okay. Which also becomes a polyrhythm flower. Um, does it? Yes, it does. Once again, they meet together in the middle, so you've got the opportunity to switch into the same direction, same time, or the opportunity to switch into split time, opposites. And just because I'm doing the uh, the anti-spin here doesn't mean that uh, it's the only option here. You can do either anti-spin split time or you can do extension split time, right? So. Um, it seems oddly asymmetrical to me that this is the case. Um, that there's really only one time and direction combination that's really off limits to you in any given cap. But there are a lot of weird asymmetries like that with Poi. Um, for example, the fact that it is impossible to do a, f um, a flower that has both an even number of petals and an even number of uh, down beads, for example. So, if any of you guys out there are geometry or math nerds and you can explain this inconsistency to me, that'd be lovely. But, uh, yeah, for now. Um, some other fun stuff that Christian and I play with that is still conceptual enough that uh, I'm not ready to demo. So, in the coming weeks, be on the lookout for uh, even more fun stuff. Although, this is, next week is going to be my last tech blog before heading to Burning Man. So, tune in. And uh, we will have a lot of cool stuff waiting for you guys then. Peace.